What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully you had a lovely weekend. We're actually recording on Sunday this time around, which we have not done in years. So if you've been listening to this podcast for years now, you remember we used to record on Sundays. And in person. In person, and we changed that to record Monday morning, get the fresh news. Um, but we're recording on Sunday because we are traveling to Columbus, Ohio on Monday, we're going to see Abercrombie headquarters, some big days ahead, but how you doing? How you doing on this Sunday afternoon? I'm good. I feel like I'm in a, a, a time time warp because I left this office on Thursday in the exact same outfit that I'm showing back up in yes. on Sunday. Um, so, But it's I'm the travel outfit. The, it's so the travel outfit. You, it's okay to rewear it. It's a travel outfit and I, I am a a repeat travel outfit person. I know some people can't do that. I wasn't on an airplane. I was on a train. But, you know, especially with airplanes, mm-hmm. I feel like for the sake of needing room in my suitcase for other things, one travel outfit. I feel that. It really depends on how lazy I am yeah. or how... Um clean freak I'm trying to be some days I can't even fathom the thought of wearing the same travel outfit like oh my god ew I can't believe I wore that and I'm gonna put it on some days I'm too lazy when I'm traveling home the next time I'm putting on the same travel outfit I went in no and and especially I you know I was on a a bachelorette trip so I'm just like there's I'm not thinking about what my travel outfit is there's so many other things I have to worry about outfit wise to make sure that you know there's this event or this theme or this whatever. Mm-hmm. So, but I was in Newport, uh, Rhode Island. It was lovely. How was the weather? Um, cold. A bit nippy. Yeah, a bit nippy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was interesting. It was like it was one of those days where it was like kind of chilly on Saturday, but rain like rained, but like the sun was out. Kind of mm-hmm. one of those one of those vibes, but um, it was it was a ton of fun. It's one of my oldest friends uh known each other from high school it's like since high school we didn't go to the same high school but since high school and a lot of reminiscing she's the keeper of the keys my friend Ooh. Bridget like she if if you're like oh my god remember that video we made like in junior like junior mm-hmm. year and like yeah, that was so fun like it, we haven't watched it in a decade she's like oh I have that That's you know amazing. like, like she, you need somebody like that yes so that was fun we were reminiscing on on some old stuff um and then, yeah, it was it, we we went out to some yummy dinners, Sounds great lovely. seafood in Newport. One of my, you know, let's I could some good oysters. Have you good been there Cocktails. Before? I had a lot of martinis. Um, yes, I went for a wedding in October of last year. That was lovely. We actually ended up going to a lot of the same places, the hot spots that I had been. Um, which was a lot of fun. Super cute on Saturday. I mean, talk about wholesome. There was a dog daffodil parade. I don't know. They were cele- The town was celebrating the the blossoming of the daffodils. And did the do the dogs walk through the daffodils? They were all dressed holding- up as daffodils. <gasps> oh my gosh! And um, there was in the little square. There was like a little, mm-hmm. little hang, little parade, and all the daff like the potted, you know. P- planters around town all had the daffodils coming out there were signs like oh it's daffodil days and all the dogs in town were they either had something around their neck like a little flower collar around mm-hmm. their neck full everywhere little yellow costumes it was absolutely adorable it's absolutely adorable daffodil day daffodil day it daffodil was dog so day. freaking cute that is really cute um so that was extremely extremely wholesome sounds very wholesome. yes yes and and it was and yeah, it was lovely. Nothing too crazy. Can't can't get yourself into too much trouble in Newport, Rhode Island in April. No, you know? sounds pretty calm. Like it was, it's calm. It's not peak of summer. It's not like mm-hmm. where there's a ton and ton of people. It was definitely like more more calm. Um, I had a mudslide that was so fucking good on Saturday. Mudslides are delicious. God, they're good. And you know, Claire and I were like, damn, because you don't want to be. 
the asshole that orders the mudslide when nobody else is. Because mm-hmm. you know the face the bartender makes when you ask. They got to pull the blender out. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, my God fucking damn it. They're it's a whole thing. In April. In April. You know, like yeah. it's not. It's not in the mud- summer, they have the yes, mudslides ready. Totally. They're on deck. Yeah. But there's a group of guys next to us. And three of them had mudslides. And we looked over and we were like. Okay, if those guys can get them. yeah, if those guys can get it, we can get. They it. already whipped out the blender for them. Exactly, they were ready to go, and it was it was delicious. A little early in the season for a mudslide, but it was well worth but it. But honestly, it's never too early. No, like and, yeah, I would have good. a I would have a mudslide any time of the year because yeah. mudslides are just delicious. They they are they are you know especially in the summer when it's hot and you yeah. get a nice mudslide. But yep, yep, it's like a milkshake. Exactly. So alcohol. it was a lovely, it was a lovely trip. Now. I guess I, you know, I, I, I do have, I guess it sounds silly, but a little bit of FOMO from Friday of everyone experiencing the an earthquake that I just did not experience at all. I was not here. I, I just didn't have any. I was like, damn, I, I missed the big quake. Yeah, it literally shook everybody up. Yep. Literally. Yeah. Um, I didn't even mean to say that as a joke, but it yeah. actually did. But yeah, we had an earthquake and then we had an aftershock. So the initial earthquake, and now everybody has their earthquake story. Everybody yes, knows where the, they were. See, see what I'm saying now? I don't have one which is boiling inside yeah. of me. Like, there are also people here who, things. who missed it. So I was at home and I was in our bedroom and I was standing up. And I had heard, like, all the doors jiggle, kind of. I didn't feel anything, but I heard jiggling. And so I popped out of my bedroom, and I was like, like, I thought somebody was breaking in. And I went to go text Matt that that I'm like, oh, my God, it sounded like somebody was breaking in. And then as soon... As soon as I was about to do that, all these texts were coming in. Earthquake, yeah, earthquake, yeah, yeah. Twitter, earth- and I was like, "Oh my god, that was an earthquake! Nobody's breaking in. It's an earthquake." Um, so everyone was frazzled about that. Matt was on the subway; he didn't get to feel it, so he was like, "Fuck, right. I didn't get to feel it." So then later on in the day, an aftershock hits. I'm laying on the couch. This one, I feel. I'm I'm thinking I'm having a panic attack. Yeah. I'm like, "Whoa, this one's extra heavy today." Um, and then I'm like, "Wait a second. Was that an aftershock? Like I, that was really shaky, and now I'm okay. Typed it on, typed it in on Twitter. Aftershock. Yeah. Everybody was tweeting aftershock. Matt walks in the door two seconds after. He goes, "I'm like, did you feel that?" He's like, "What? I was in the, oh, elevator. Was in the elevator." I'm like, Damn. "I'm like, you missed the aftershock." He's like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" He's like, "I missed both things." Um. So yeah, it was a where were you type of moment, but yeah. odd. I mean, we've had an earthquake before everyone's acting like we haven't i remember exactly where i was when we had an earthquake the last time i was at my um best friend's house when we were way younger um this seems to have been a a higher uh scale magnitude yes yeah it was a 4.8 or 4.7 and then everybody you know everyone's like oh 4.8 and the solar eclipse is on 4.8 which has had my mind in a tizzy because we're flying we're flying through it we're flying while the solar eclipse is happening correct it's supposed to happen at 3 25 p.m we're landing landing. like literally around the same exact time yeah um it has made me quite feel quite uneasy I was trying to get you guys to change our flight to earlier because I was like, guys, we can't be in the path of the solar yeah, eclipse. Well, guess what? Do you know that their Delta actually sold flights to watch the solar eclipse? Like just like for people that like De- like you could leave. I think they're leaving from Austin, and I was and the tickets went for like insane amounts of money. Really, for the plane to go and they you can watch this eclipse through the air. They're like flying through up That's up the insane. whole path of totality. So you guys had an opposite reaction that I had. You I was kind of like, like That's kind of so sick. cool. Like we might see it, and I, I was, was like, like from the sky. Like that's. You yeah, know? you guys had opposite. I mine was like I'm so scared. Yeah, and you guys were like that's so cool. What um, are you scared of? I, everything. I'm scared of everything. Planes fly in the dark all the time. Every I, day. Every night. I well, guess it's just the discussions around the eclipse. the discussions around the eclipse are there. It's split in half. Some people think the eclipse is so cool. They want to see it. Mm-hmm. They want to watch it. Be around it. Other people run and hide from the eclipse you don't want to to absorb you don't want to absorb the energy of the eclipse the the beginning of the end um right and so you know the the eclipse has happened before 2017 (laughs) we we yeah i'm pretty sure we watched it from one of the offices right it was 2017 or or i think so um i remember that happening and i don't remember being afraid then 
I think it's just people love a, people are really they love to d- scare into the conspiracies. This one's supposed to last longer, days. right? Because it's on TikTok. They're like one TikTok I get is like, oh my god, solar eclipse is coming. This is so exciting. Everybody, like, get your sunglasses yeah. out. Like, blah blah blah. And then the next video I get is like, oh my god, the solar eclipse is coming. Run and hide. Like, you don't want to be near it. So. You know, you know what really? I think like, we. I think I just need to embrace it. Who, whatever company is making these solar eclipse like glasses, really must just be raking it in. Because is is that just like? Oh, I've seen so a, many TikToks where it's eligible, eligible for commission at the bottom. Where they're like, you will, you're, you'll go blind if you don't have these glasses. Right, like this. Whoever's making those, they are just waxing everybody yeah they know what they're doing because um, what makes those different than just like a pair of sunglasses? Apparently, it's like a big difference, but I don't know if that's a big difference. They're like. It, what about like, like sunglasses won't do sunglasses. anything. <laughs> I I have no idea like the speci- the special kind of sunglasses you need. Um, I'll be wearing my sunglasses the whole flight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine I'm sitting there the whole flight with, with eye patches on, sunglasses on. The flight attendants are like this. Uh, you could just that shut your night window. Last <laughs> People say you could make your own solar eclipse. Yeah. Well, I remember Garbage. that. I said certified eclipse glasses. I remember that conversation happening during the last one. Everyone was like, if you just put these two glasses together, you can make your own solar eclipse sunglasses. Like yeah. The whole thing. People are saying you really, you would mostly need them if you're in the path of totality. Which That's, honestly that is just like such a, a like, <laughs> the phrase has, feels like it really holds so much power. That sounds the like a movie. Of the path of It a... does, right? Like, Percy Jackson in the Path of Totality. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so my sister sent me the path in which the is eclipse... Columbus like in it. No, it's uh, we're in I the don't we're in so. the forty we're the outside. We're in the forty percent. Tunnel. Yeah, it's if uh, New York. If you no, want no, to be Ohio's, in um, uh, like New York, I believe like the Rochester area is through the path. Mm-hmm. So if we were flying out a little later, then we'd see it more because i think if we were later yes like if we were on like a 2 p.m flight we would probably be flying straight through the path of totality so yeah we probably won't even really see it that like as no no i mean i I think i was i was thinking in my head that we were seeing it like as we were like kind of like just leaving new york not like landing nope so yeah we won't be in the heart of it nope no but it it will be interesting um yeah yeah, so that all those Everything started coming out after the earthquake on Friday. It was like, oh my God, now the solar yeah, eclipse a lot, lot is of, coming. A lot of weather conspiracies going on. Right. Denver had like this really bad windstorm mm-hmm. that, you know, the gusts they haven't seen in a while. So every, every, everybody was like trying to yeah. <clears throat> put shit together. Sorry. Bless oh you. Oh my God. Um, Just roll me out of here. I need like, I need like a five day stint in like a hospital. <laughs> I, I actually said to you like before not even we a vac- started. Like not even a vacation. Like I need a hospital. I, I need a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I said to you before we started, you have a lot going on because you mentioned yeah. you were going to the, an acupuncturist on yep. Wednesday. Um, yeah, I've, I've turned to I've turned to <laughs> to the needle. Which that's not bad. Which that's I a think, bad joke. Sorry. No, right. It is. Um, but you know, we'll continue. No, wait. I I have debilitating headaches. But and you should I do something need, about yes, it. I, yes. Yes. So. Well, if we, if we if I had one second to go to a, like actually go to like a do- multiple mm-hmm. doctors, that would be great. Yeah, but there's no there's we, I don't. <laughs> yeah, no time, no time. So I just got three new pairs of shoes from Macy's that I am so excited about, and I can't wait to style them. Maybe I'll make a little video showing how I'll style them on TikTok, but. Before the summer hits, I want to make sure I get all the shoes that I need. And there is a great shoe sale, the great shoe sale, 30 to 40% off coming. The latest shoe trends for spring from Madden Girls, Steve Madden, INC, and more. That starts April 9th to April 21st. And you can shop at Macy's.com or in-store. It's the great shoe sale. Like I said, I just got three new shoes from Macy's. I'm going to get more with this big sale. So guys, check it out. Go to Macy's.com or you could shop Macy's in store and check out the great shoe sale. There's obviously select brands that are on sale, 30 to 40% off. Get all the shoes you need for your summer travel. Maybe you have weddings to attend, you need a classic heel. Go to Macy's, shop Macy's.com or in store and look forward to a little TikTok showing off some new shoes that I got.
What did I do this weekend? Um, my parents came to see our apartment for the first time. Oh, nice. So that was lovely. Um, yeah, and we just went to dinner. We had what a nice night. Oh, they loved it. Loved it? Yeah, they loved they it. They say they're going to come stay? Yeah, well, my mom, like, really didn't want to leave. Like, she changed into my pajamas. and <laughs> She wanted to have a sleepover. No, she she was, like, looking out on the balcony, and we and we looked at her, and, and we were like, oh, my God, she looks so cute right now. Like, yeah. she just looked like, don't send me back. Like, like I want like I want to stay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they enjoyed it. I, I think we had a lovely time. We went to dinner in Hoboken. Um, they've never been there, so that was that was nice. And then we we were going to go. We stopped by a bar, and it was kind of empty, and we were like, this is not the vibe. Yeah. And then so we went to a bakery instead, <laughs> which is two total opposite things. We were okay. like, we were like, okay, no bar, but there's a bakery no drinks, right there. No but we could go yeah. get cannolis. Yeah, no, that's exactly we yeah. got cannolis. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's exactly what we did. Um, so that was lovely. And then now we're here. We didn't go to Carlos's, did we? We did. We went to Carlos, <laughs> <laughs> the cake boss. That's the exact bakery we went to. We had his cannolis. We had a little of his cheesecake, <laughs> um, a snickerdoodle cookie, yeah, um, a little cream puff thing. Yum. It was all delicious. It was a great time. Great little weekend. I, I have to wait till weekly watch report, but I watched a movie this weekend that I am obsessed with now and I can't that's a little tease for Give me to watch it. New? No. Old. Can we try you, and guess what it is? Yeah, you know, you guys are gonna be like floored that I actually have not there's multiple of them. And I've only seen one of them, but I realized that I never saw the first one. And I loved it. This is a little teaser we watch for, but you guys can guess what? Should, you, should, we, should you give us a so genre? So you had thought you would see. So I, this is a, it's a series. It's a series of movies, and I had and you thought, thought you saw you f- that I thought I saw the first one. Okay, but I did not see the first one. I saw the second one, and it came out when I was like the first one came out when I was like four years old. So it would make sense that like you know maybe it, it's right. it's a beloved movie. And it's not a rom-com. It's not a rom- But there is romance. romance. There is romance? There is a romantic aspect to it. But it is not a rom-com. And it's got a star-studded cast. And there's multiple of them? There's multiple of them. It's a star-studded cast. Adventure? Like action? Not adventure. There is some action but i don't i wouldn't qualify it as an action have any movie idea? i'm confused i keep thinking of like animated movies for some it's reason it's not an animated well, movie well now i'm just in my head i'm thinking star studded like, actors i'm thinking like early 2000s oh the oceans movies yes uh, you never see oh oceans 11 i watched oceans 11 for the first time wow great movie obsessed i've never seen them <gasps> what None of them? I mean, I guess what? you haven't seen Okay, well, I'm acting so shocked, but I haven't either, but I just had figured that I you would I think it's crazy have... that you saw the other ones. So I've, I've seen... I've seen, like, that. that's a classic movie series that I've seen bits and pieces of, but I've never yes. actually sat down and watched Oceans, any of the Oceans from start to finish. I actually do think I did watch, which, is, you know... I think I watched the all-female one that everyone was oh that was so God. bad, but yeah. I don't think I've seen the other one. So... Kind of the same situation where I had seen bits and pieces maybe like on cable yeah. when I was younger. Yes, totally. And when we started watching Oceans 12 after we watched Oceans 11, I was like, wait. This is the one I've I saw. seen this one. Mm. Kind, I don't remember it fully, but I was like, this one is ring. I know a lot more things that happen here than in the first one. Yeah. Fantastic movie. Wait, so you've seen all of them now? No, we're gonna watch Oceans thirteen tonight. Oh. Um so you saw twelve? I've I saw eleven and part of twelve, but I fell asleep and I also had seen it, so I was like Thir- I really like thirteen. So that's what he, like, Matt was like, I really love Oceans thirteen. He was like, yeah. I love Oceans eleven and I love Oceans thirteen. Yeah. He was like twelve, 12 was like, is like huh? it's yeah. fine. He was like, You have to see it. And I was like, weird that I've never seen obsessed like yeah. oceans 11 you would really love it no i i it's just one of those ones i haven't got like that was a julia all, roberts trivia question, yes right? and yeah. i said that i was yeah. like the the julia roberts who does she pretend to be julia roberts remember we i really yeah. said julia roberts and i that was that's oceans 12 so i was yeah, like yeah. maybe you know yeah i subconsciously but there are there are some 
And so I never you just haven't seen like yeah, I just haven't yeah. seen him. I never understood the allure of George Clooney. Um he like never like yeah. whatever. But him and Julia Roberts mm. in this movie. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. The chemistry. Yeah. The sexual tension between these two. And Brad Pitt's Brad classic, Pitt's, yeah, obviously. And his prime. So I know look, I'm this is what happens. I know I should have waited till weekly watch port, but I was too excited. That's okay. Um so you know how because you've seen Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. So you, so you know how Topher Grace is in it as yeah, Topher yeah. Grace? I didn't realize he was playing himself. Wait, I feel like I don't remember him playing himself. It's it's a very small part in the beginning of the movie. I remember him being in it, but. When he, they're doing the poker game. Oh. And Topher Grace is playing Topher Grace. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But I didn't realize he was playing himself because he was like smoking a cigarette and like didn't give Topher Grace like energy. So somebody calls him Topher in the movie and I was like, why would they give him the same name that he has in real right, life? Right, right, right. Because right. now I'm only seeing him as Topher Grace. Right, he's not and Topher then, Grace playing a character named Topher. And then Matt was like, no, no, no. You're seeing him as Topher Grace because he is playing, playing Topher, Topher Grace. Wait, I was is like, this on streaming? my head is spinning. I kind of want to watch this yeah, again. Yeah, it's on Hulu. They just came Damn. out on Hulu. Now so kind of good. Okay, sorry. It. Sorry that I jumped, that I jumped gotta ahead. Wa- I got to watch him. You do. You would really Guys, love there's really like a lot of, so I will say, I know I give actors. you shit for like a lot of the like older ro- like rom-coms mm-hmm. that you haven't seen. A lot of like the classic, some of these classic series, I just have Have you ever not, seen Goodfellas? I've just not seen, no. <gasps> Oh I watched the Godfather have you seen part. I, got, I watched the first Godfather Same. for like the first have you time seen Scarface? In, in, in its entirety. Honestly, I haven't in, seen the whole, never seen I've Scarface. Seen only the nope. big parts. Really? I used to love Scarface. That would shock people because I don't scream Scarface. Lover. No, I used to love Scarface. Kind of do. I would say like <laughs> Joe has a long list of movies that I, he knows I have not seen, and mm. it baffles him every time. I but here's the thing: I'm not for the uh, like. I, I get being shocked yeah, not yeah, seeing yeah. things, but when people judge other people for not seeing things, they're like, maybe it just got lost in, in the mix. Yeah. You know, maybe I was distracted. Look, I, there's a lot of genre, like, I I was a movie repeater for a you, lot, you know, I a lot, re, uh, rewatched a ton of movies, and I Same. was always in the rom-com genre a lot of the times, or most of the action movies were ones action drama like that kind of vibe that my dad or mom mom and dad like to watch that's what it is did you watch the rocky movies yes the rocky movies were big in my house uh scarface goodfellas all those obviously but um oceans now the oceans movies they they rope you in with the actors right because you got yeah yeah yeah. it's it's, it's, george clooney julia roberts you're like okay so th- when I when we it's, were scrolling on very Hulu, blingy. yeah, when we were scrolling on Hulu, I I stopped on Ocean's Eleven. I said, I'm gonna admit something. Yeah, yeah. I've yep. never seen this, and Im- immediately, <gasps> yeah, they're my favorite movies. I said, you know what, Maria, just give it a shot. Yeah, stop sticking up your classics, Aquamarine. Yes, just, just put Ocean's Eleven how many, on. How many more times how did I watch a Cinderella times? story? No, seriously though. I also like, texted Marty randomly about watching a movie, uh, the Larry David movie. Oh, he did say he brought because that up. I asked. I just for some reason was thinking about it. I'm like, have you ever seen you Clear History? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, but he was like, no, I heard it was bad. I'm like, it's not. Like, you so gotta watch it. The we watched um, on HBO. Have you seen the podcast with Susie and Jeff? What? So on HBO Max or Max, Susie and Jeff have a podcast talking about like Curb. Mm. Like, you know how they re- like re- go through yeah. the episodes in the beginning. It's a whatever. podcast like on HBO. But yeah, it's like a vodcast, uh. I guess. And <laughs> I'm sure uh, you can listen to it. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. you can listen like to it, it, but you can watch. And we watched, I think, the first two episodes. And I'm pretty sure that's brought up and like talk like it's that's another one where there's just so many like stars in it. Right. Yeah, he did bring that up and then I was like Bud Brad Pitt and George <laughs> Clooney <laughs> in Oceans Eleven. <laughs> Let's watch. Yeah. Um Okay, sorry, that's weekly watchport. No, okay. <laughs> um, all right, let's get into the topics. 
for today. We are going to be talking about Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher are getting divorced. And of course, the Rebel Wilson stuff that came yeah. out about Sa- uh, Sasha timing. Baron Cohen. Yes. Noah Cyrus liked Liam Hemsworth gym selfie on Instagram. Scandal. And Legally Blonde is getting a spinoff. And we have Weekly Watch Report. You want to tell the people that gypsy got a nose job or oh i i left that off the topic list because nobody seemed excited about that um i just wanted to mention that gypsy rose got a big cosmetic uh, surgery she got a nose job not invisalign not invisalign which we laughed about it could have been um maybe that's next yeah but she got a nose job she said hey i'm i'm gonna do what i want to do yes and you know what i saw someone say like she was locked up for so long and the weather's starting to get warm. No wonder she's acting out of control. Yeah. You know? No she's wonder got spring fever. No, yeah. And Gypsy yeah. Rose has, has every season fever spring right now. Spring fever. She that's why she's running around with her ex fiance again, husky tattoos. True. She the sun is shining and she's out of jail. She's gonna act a little nuts right now. Yeah. So um yeah, now she's getting a nose job. I used to really get spring fever like when it would start to get warm mm-hmm. out. You get that itch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like my itch. first year of co- freshman year of college when it got really nice in DC. It was just like glorious, mm-hmm. glorious. And you're like, I'm any in of any event that I could have gotten to, I went to. Yeah, like out and about. Got to take advantage. Yeah, got to take advantage. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get into the topics. There are a ton of summer concerts coming up where I feel like you guys know you want to jump in, you want to get the best seats possible. So you're doing everything in your power to make sure you are up close, you are front row, you are waiting in lines, you are logged into your computer, you are doing everything you need to do because you want the best. And when you want the best, you have to act quickly or someone else will get it instead. It's like if you're hiring for your business, you want to find the most talented people for your open roles before the competition scoops them up. So what's the best way to do that? ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter finds qualified candidates fast. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash C-I-T-O. ZipRecruiter's powerful matching technology takes center stage to identify top talent for your roles. Immediately after you post your job, ZipRecruiter's smart technology starts showing you qualified people for it. So amp up your hiring performance with ZipRecruiter and find the best fast. See why four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Just go to this exclusive web address right now to try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash C-I-T-O. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash C-I-T-O. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. So this news came out that Sasha Barra Cohen and Isla Fisher are getting a divorce. They put this on Instagram, an Instagram story Isla Fisher posted saying that they had been separated since 2023 and now they're letting the world know after 20 years together, they've been married for 13, but they've been together for 20 years, um, they will be, you know, divorcing. Now this comes... Pretty quickly after the news of Rebel Wilson um, writing about Sasha Baron Cohen in her book. And now I want to ask you. Oh, sounded like my voice cracked a little bit. It did. Um, went through puberty in the yeah. middle of the podcast. Um, if you think that this is a coincidence or do you think Isla Fisher is like, you know what? I don't want people dragging me into this and we're not even together. Let a, like I'm announcing that we're split up. I think so. I think that answer Mm -hmm. um because b option b yeah option b because if they have been separated for a while already and this is coming up i'm sure she's being asked to comment on it or talk about it or whatever it is that now like now is the time that they're gonna post that they're getting a divorce it's like it just feels like that's there has to be some correlation Mm -hmm. um, because his name has been all over the last couple of weeks. Rebel Wilson had writing a book. She had posted being, you know, there is a a powerful man that I'm, that I write about. He's trying to like basically silence me. He's like, you know, not mention him or she said she would talk about it. Then she publicly said his name. And obviously now the story is coming out of just, um, just some, very creepy 
uncomfortable scenarios that she had been put in when they filmed uh, The Brothers Grims- Grimsby in 2016. One specific story of him asking her to like put her finger in his butt. I But it was like, they were like, it would be funny or like, so he's trying to claim it was some, you know, they're all, they're on cameras, uh, mm-hmm. they're acting, whatever. She's like, that was not the case. And it really sounds like he just put her through the ringer filming that movie in general. Like she didn't want to talk about the movie. She mm-hmm. didn't want to promote the movie. It was just like a really, really, really bad experience for her. And this all came out like last week. So now it's like this, that came out. Rebel's telling that story. She's letting everybody know what had happened. He's, you know, a lawyer, whoever, publicist, put out, putting out a statement like that. That's not what happened. But in situations like this, everybody goes to, they're like, they probably want Isla to say something or speak on it. I'm sure people are saying on social media, like, what do you think about this? Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so it's probably like, hey, we're, I don't need to be dragged into this. We are not together right now. And, and I don't like, don't come to me for this. Right. I, I think that Isla Fisher and Sasha Baron Cohen were a couple that I liked only because of Isla Fisher. Because yeah. I really for like sure. her. And uh, did you think the Borat movies were funny? I know this isn't no. like kind of, I I've never, never thought, even had an interest I to never them. thought the Borat movies were funny. No, I'll be quite honest that his, um, his sense of humor is not for me. Yeah. Same. Like and all his characters. I'm just like, I get it. I get the references, my wife, like I get yeah. the whole thing. I'm just like, but it's like, nah. right. And I'm not going to turn Borat on. No, no, no. Uh, him multi- and Ricky yeah. Bobby. Was like funny. imagine you were, yeah. Well, Talladega Nights, yeah. I think more Will Ferrell, but, um, yeah, you're not like, babe, let's watch Borat. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Come on, movie night, let's put Borat on. No. I know that's kind of like, I have been afraid to say that take, that I don't think Borat's funny. Yeah. But now it feels like safe to say. Not to jump on the hate bandwagon, no, but now right, I feel right, like right. this is a safe space. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't write like, you. Know I never what? thought he was funny. Yeah. Right, it's like, right. <laughs> right. he's like, after Classic. the story comes out, Rhea's like, and you know what? Borat's not even funny. <laughs> I um, wonder if I had said that before. Maybe I have, but I've been sitting on that take for yeah. like years just because people, w- when that movie first came out, Borat, whatever year that was, yeah, was yeah. like groundbreaking comedy to some people. Um, not us though. Not us highbrow no, comedians. He, he just has a really, <laughs> it's a, it's a, is an acquired taste. It is um, an acquired taste. They, uh, the statement seems that like they he's wrote, a very interesting, weird guy. I think oh, that everyone's always, always percent. knew that about him. One million percent. Um, even just like the, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't call them pranks, but you know, like the setup, fake, move, filming, interview, I, I, I things never that under- he would do and all that. You know. Oh yeah, who did he do that to? That like freaked out Giuliani. Oh, yeah. 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 So, I think, right? Yes. He was yeah. one of them, yeah. So that was in the second Borat movie. And I... You know, there was a whole other thing. Series yeah, that he I thought... Up. Why am I sitting like this? I thought that... <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I thought that uh, it was all, like, scripted at first. And then, like, halfway through watching the second Borat, whenever that came out, it was a couple of years ago... I found out that it wasn't, and it was like, I don't even know how to explain the filming of it. Like, yeah, yeah, some yeah. people know and some people don't that it's like a movie. Like, I, right. it confused the hell out of me. Yeah. No, I, I, not for me. Quite so the answer, artist. Um, after, this was the, the analogy that they used in their statement was also interesting. Like, they said, uh, after a long, Tennis match lasting over 20 years. We are finally putting our rackets down. Fitting for the hat you're wearing right it now. It is, but it just makes me feel like, I'm like, oh, that's a that's a tough way to describe a marriage, you know? Right, tennis match feels like a little, a back and like forth you're just, constantly. You're just, a taking, fight. you're just constantly taking hits. Like, yeah, right. A co- back, a, back in your court, back in the other A court. competition? 20 years, of a, 20 years of a tennis match is a long battle. Right, or they're talking about like, you know. God, I mean, look, I can't imagine it'd be easy being married to him. Not that's a you know obviously a generalized statement, but he just, despite everything that's come out, he's always given me like tortured artist, like oh my comedy, like my right. my craft, my like 
you know he's the like to him he's the funniest the guy in the room at all times right. and if anybody else tries to be funny he's upset right so yeah but you know what i'm happy for isla fisher to get out there right they they do have three kids together yeah i forgot about that yeah um isla F- what the fuck? what the fuck is I, that they roll a toilet paper there's no tissues in this office <laughs> I just I looked over and thought my, I was like, my brain was malfunctioning. That, that toilet, that toilet paper came out of the side of the chair. I had just confused the hell out of me. You can probably cut this out. This is just Fun fact: I actually like blowing my nose with uh, toilet paper more than tissues. Why the texture? The texture. It's yeah. like nice. yeah. I prefer a nice tissue. That's like um, one of the you know Vicks vapor. It's got the stuff in it. Yeah, it's, and it's really soft. But I'm I'm just like like I said I'm need help I have my allergies are out of control I can't breathe I can't sleep so what happened to the allergist the allergist gave me nothing she said I'm really allergic to dust and sorry honey that's that's the name of the game she gave me this prescription for this pill to take every day for like three years it just seems so ridiculous and something i'd never heard of and i'm sure it's you know it's legit but i just went to some rand like i went to a doctor and any like she was just very quick to throw medicine at me yeah you know? and she, like, she was like take this problems. she was like take this nose spray and then also here's a prescription um that isn't covered by a lot of uh insurance so double check that you're that it's covered or else it's really expensive. So, and it just all, it sounded like a bunch of hooey to me, you know? Mm-hmm. And now... Like, she's like, oh, the first thing she's going to say to me is, oh, here's this, it's not even through, like, Walgreens, it's through, like, this secondary app that I have to get this what? medicine from. Yeah, it was bizarre. That's sketch. I thought so, too. I, I so, I had, like, and then she was like, oh, but... Also, you have to come back to the office to take the first pill in case, God forbid, like you go into anaphylactic shock or something. Like oh taking my this god! Medicine. So, so I, I haven't I, even had time to go back to the allergist to no, to start this. I wouldn't even magic take that pack. medicine. I don't want to. Secondary pharmacy, is just yeah. in case you have an allergic reaction to the medicine. I don't know. No, I know. This sounds funky. No, I know. This sounds funky to me. Yep. But I'm really wishing you the best. She with did all give the, me but, a nasal but, spray that she had a sample of that was l- great. Um, but I ran out of it. So now- oh, we got to get you figured out, though. We got to get you all patched up. I know. I know. There's a couple things we got to, we got to, you know, patch you up with. I know. The allergies. I know. The headaches. Yep. So. And your Invisalign. Uh, uh, yep. Look, I couldn't find any tissues. My so parents I just were had shocked to gra- that you were getting Invisalign, paper. too. When they saw that clip. They said my, my mom was also shocked. My, they said she has beautiful teeth. Why is she getting Invisalign? Thanks, thank you so much. My bottom teeth are not perfect. You can't see them as you can't. You know, they the, were, bo- the bottom row you can't see as often as the top. The top look same. nice, but the bottom are crooked. But do you ever wonder like, oh, these imperfections make me who I am? That's how I feel because my bottom teeth are are crooked. Absolutely, <laughs> and there are some things. That's that what I, I tell myself to feel better. There are some <laughs> things that I accept, and some things that can be changed. Right. You know. Yeah. If you want to change them. Something about teeth is to. like more people like fix their, uh, everyone fixes their teeth. Yeah. Everyone yeah. I don't braces. see why not. If you can and you want to, it all depends on if you want to. I why was not? just, it was just adding up where I was watching videos. I was like, I do not like the way my bottom teeth look. I'm all in the camp of do what makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah, I agree. If you can do something for yourself that makes you feel better, you do that. Yep. doesn't matter what anybody else says. Even if they're complimenting you, even if they say you have beautiful teeth, if you want to yeah. change them, that's your prerogative, yeah. honey. Thank you. Um, all right. Um, just my nose is running like a faucet, so I'm like really trying to not. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yep. It's all right. We'll make it through. Next uh, topic. Next topic. Next topic. Let's move on. Noah Cyrus liked Liam Hemsworth. Liam Hemsworth's picture on Instagram yeah. is Jim mm-hmm. selfie. He he looks like he's gonna pop out of the screen. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, he did make a leg day joke. In the caption, which I thought, you know, because he he looks top heavy. He's looking this, like the Hulk. This picture, um, that's for sure. And Noah Cyrus liked the picture, mm-hmm. and now I'm like, is Noah Cyrus just trying to get back at the family? Like she's like, all right, mom's got Dominic, and now I'm going for Liam. Yeah, right. Batter up, I'm going for Liam. Or are they just friends? Like I don't think they would be friends. I feel like Miley and Liam had a 
tumultuous breakup. I don't think it was a a, a lovey dovey. You know, our time has come. Yeah, we're, Noah br- does we're still divorcing. Follow him. Noah wants a piece. <laughs> Noah wants a piece yeah. of the whole fam. Payback. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And 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 at this point, if it's true, if it's true about Dominic and Noah. Can you blame her for being a little petty? No. You know what I mean? Like, if it's true. That's why I was just looking to see if there were any other outstanding members of the Cyrus family that still followed him. Seems like she's the only one. She's got her eyes on the prize. But, uh, yeah. You know, she's probably scrolling Instagram. She still follows him. That pops up. She says... Toss this a like. Yeah, why not? My my ex brother in law. Yeah, what's up? Right. Maybe they maybe maybe they had an, a relationship, not that kind of relationship, but like maybe yeah. they were close. He's known. He knew no when she was very very young. He was in their her life for what ten years plus. Yeah, ish. So some people are able to like still have, but it's normally it's like the whole family, not just. Some right, people. but why? Okay, but the thing is, like, does she like his other pictures, or is right? Or is right. It just he, well, this gym, is the thing. He, is it just the muscular? This gym is the selfie? thing. He's not really like super active on Instagram. You know, he just wanted to pop it into everyone what he's been working yeah, on. Yeah, like he posts trailers for. Does she support his arts? His projects. No, his last post was a trailer. She didn't like that. So she's not supporting his And art. the one before that was also, she didn't like that. She liked you what she saw. And then before that, we're all we're back to November. From what I can see, she didn't Maybe like that Noah either. Maybe Noah saw it and, go, and went, you know what? Good for him. Well, she, you know that people are going to see that you liked it and, and make yeah, it a thing. Yeah, I think that she's coming back with a vengeance for Wait. getting her man stolen. <laughs> yeah. You know who does like a lot of his stuff? Brody Jenner. And with their friends. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at their... They could be they Malibu. They bonded because you know? of Miley yep. and, and... Right. Miley and oh, Caitlin. Noah liked a picture from November 2022. And it's the seventh post on his grid. So that's like... I mean, he really doesn't post. Yeah. That post is from November 2022. So. Okay. But she popped back in on muscle day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That had the people talking, but I, I, I think Liam Hemsworth didn't have the career that he could have had. You brought this up to me the other day. <laughs> I did. It was on the podcast. I did. This is oh, the second, what? Yeah. This is the second time oh. we're bringing this up. Oh, wait, up. was it? I thought it wasn't. I thought no, it was I think it was. it was. I think this oh. is the second time I'm bringing it up. I, I stand I by I couldn't it. remember if it was on the- It's nice to know I stand oh, by my Oh, maybe we were takes. talking about in LA? We might have been. Because I just feel like it wasn't in this setting. Like, yeah. I'm not having that deja right. vu moment, but right. maybe it's because we were- in the hotel room it's, in LA. It's clearly something I bring up a lot. Yeah. Um, but hey, it's not over. Maybe he'll have another run. I just, it, it's one of those takes, I guess, I'm stuck with that yeah, like right. Liam could have been something, but his brother has more of the acting chops than he does, I think. Yeah. You know? Well, even if even if he doesn't, you just get overshadowed by like a, a, by a role like Thor, you know? Right. It's just um, the international superstar. Maybe that's why Liam like is that. is getting his muscles up, though. He's like, "Oh, you guys like Thor? Well, check out. I'm <laughs> yeah. just Liam, right? I'm just Liam, and I have these muscles. Uh, I don't yeah. need to be Thor." He does. He does do a lot of like action movies. Still, is like yeah. his. Haven't seen him thing. in much. No, haven't seen him in anything actually besides the last song. No, he's <laughs> been. Well, that's not true. You've seen Hunger Games. Oh right! Oh my god! I totally forgot that he's in. The Hunger Games. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. He <laughs> is forgetful when he shouldn't be. Oh, Poor man. Poor Liam. Yeah. But not because he's got Noah like in his picture. Mm. So I guess he's all right. Um, <laughs> moving on. Legally Blonde is getting a he's spin-off. probably like, keep me out of this. <laughs> yeah, right. He's like, no, he, like, he's going to remove Noah as a he's follower. He's like, please, keep me out of this. <laughs> Do not like um, my pictures. And yes. you're now being removed on my follower list. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Legally Blonde is getting a spinoff. And Reese Witherspoon will be involved in some capacity, executive producer role. You know, Hello, when, sunshine. whenever I see that, I go, mm, 
are they just getting paid to have their name on there or are they actually involved? I'd like to right. think they're actually involved, but there are so many cases where people just get an EP title and they're not actually involved. Definitely. But and I'd I like to think she's involved in this because right. she's the OG. Right. And I would think she cares about the future of the name, you know, mm-hmm. where she doesn't want a spinoff to like go to shit. So Reese and Hello Sunshine are working on a Legally Blonde spinoff TV series. Um, sources told Deadline. One offshoot, which is further along in the development process, is being written by, I guess they're like thinking about maybe like multiple things, but okay. Um, this says that one project being developed is being written by Gossip Girl developers slash executive producers Josh Schwartz and Stephanie Savage. The duo are executive producing the project whose premise is being kept under wraps. Uh, they're working alongside Witherspoon and Lauren Newtstotter via Hello Sunshine, as well as Lily Bond movie franchise producer Mark Platt. Um, there's then they list a bunch of producers. Then they wrote, I hear Hello Sunshine and Amazon are looking to further expand the Legally Blonde TV universe with a potential second spinoff series, which is still in preliminary idea stages. So they clearly want to rework this in a lot of ways. It says Legally Blonde um, a year ago was reported that Legally Blonde was among, among a dozen or so titles from the MGM library that were initially identified for film and or TV development following Amazon's acquisition of the venerable Hollywood studio. Teaming up with Witherspoon was a natural step in exploiting the IP. So Amazon's taken over the Legally Blonde name. They can do, they can make and produce tons of new things using that name. Um, and I guess first would be some sort of spinoff made by the Gossip Girl. He also did People. the OC. Yeah. Um, so I have faith in this. Yeah. Who knows? It could maybe not be for uh, like our... Right. You depends know? on what kind of demographic they're going for. But a TV series with the same, like, I'm interested to see if they would really stick to this or if it's just, like, loosely based on same concept of, you know, maybe she goes to Yale this time. Right. (laughs) I would um, appreciate if it was, like, loosely based. Yeah, yeah. So that we can watch and enjoy and not I be agree. like we know everything that's going to happen. I agree. Because if, if it's the same exact, then we're like, oh, we, you know, we right. know exactly. Just keep it we in like the general park, little, ballpark. Right. Add a little je ne sais quoi. Man. Right. Girl that everyone thinks, you know, they're like, oh, she doesn't have it to go to law school. It goes to law school. Right. Perfect. Done. Yeah. Has an asshole boyfriend. Yep. She's going to prove him wrong. Yep. But yep. Let's see where it unfolds. Right. Um. Yeah. So that's exciting. And that wraps up the topics. Rum Haven is made with real coconut water and no artificial flavors or preservatives for clean and refreshing taste. It's not a fake one. You can't beat the taste of real coconut water. It's delicious, clean, and refreshing. Rum Haven believes that Mother Nature does it best. That's why Rum Haven is crafted with premium Caribbean rum and real coconut water. You can enjoy Rum Haven straight over ice with a splash of club soda or your favorite juice. As we are starting to get into some warm months, a nice rum punch is delicious. For me, I make sure I have the Rum Haven, a little pineapple juice, a little cranberry juice, or a little pineapple juice. Honestly, sometimes I like just rum, pineapple juice, or I go cranberry juice, orange juice, Rum Haven, mix it all up. Delicious. You can find out where to pick up a bottle of Rum Haven for yourself by visiting rumhaven.com. That's rumhaven.com. All right, let's get into the weekly watch report where we talk about the things we watch this week. Weekly watch report on Monday. Weekly watch report on Monday. Weekly watch report on Monday. Weekly watch report. Boom, 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 boom on Monday. Bow, 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 bow. On Monday. Um, okay, Ocean's Eleven A. <laughs> we already talked about Let's it. Let's just get that one out of the way. First. I don't even need to discuss any yeah. further, or I could, but I'm going to give it an A, and I'm excited to watch um, watch Ocean's Thirteen tonight. And I'd like to reiterate. So do you want to grade Ocean's Twelve? No, because I fell asleep, and it's 
Okay. I might just skip over Ocean's 12. Okay. Because I've heard about how good Honestly, Ocean's I don't even know if I've is. ever seen 12 fully. So I think I might skip over Ocean's 12. Okay. Ocean's 11 came out in 2001, and I was born in 1997. So I don't think it's that crazy that I haven't seen it. You know? I'm think, older than you. I haven't seen it. So, you know, I don't think it's matter. crazy. Really states. That's true, because some people might be like, that's so yeah. crazy. It's like, like you've right, seen the Goodfellas. That came right, out before right. You. That yeah. came out way before. Some people, some people, I was looking no matter, for a way to defend, know, you know, yes. defend. I was, yeah. But I there's just no think reason that to there are sometimes, there are some moments that regardless of time, age, whatever, people miss. They're like, oh, I just, I wasn't clued in during that time. You right. Know? And. Like, you just miss a craze. You I don't just see it until it. you're meant to see it. And That's I, what I think of like music a lot. Wow, so true. So I and I was meant to see Ocean's Eleven this weekend, so that gets an A. And then we just go right into our reality reality TV. Um, oh, I've been keeping up with New Girl. I'm on season two now, so I've watched all of season one, and I give season one of New Girl. Yeah. Um, it's so funny. I don't know an A minus. I'll give season one yeah. of New Girl an A minus. Yeah. I'm on season two now, loving it. I think it only gets better, to be yeah. honest, too. So I'm going to give A minus. And then Summer House. <sighs> A lot to do. What to the hell? What the hell is wrong with both Carl and Lindsay? I know. What the hell is wrong with these two? I, 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 I was screaming at my TV alone. Watching Summer House. Yeah. Because, let's just get right into it. The disrespect of Carl asking Kyle to be his flower boy. Yeah. When he is having groomsmen. And when Kyle asked him, like, are you having groomsmen? Because if he wasn't having groomsmen and he still wanted him to be a part of the party, I still think it's lame. But, like, okay, you want people to be part of the party. Well, I mean, you want people part be part of the wedding without having a party. Still think flower boy for Kyle is, like, a little lame and demeaning. Um, because even he said, like, let's be honest, like, Kyle fits flower boy a little bit more. Yeah, Like, right. shut up. Right. Also, being thrown in. With Andrea and Luke. Right. Is also offensive. It is. Completely. Carl officiated Kyle and Amanda's wedding. Absurd. Not only is he flower boy, but also with Andrea and Luke. Right. Like, is... Are Carl and Kyle's friendship, like, so skewed and towards one side that... Carl has so many other friends that Kyle doesn't even crack the groomsmen list. Insane. Or, and, then, and like, like I just felt, I felt bad for Kyle because it's like, I just, I really think Lindsay holds such a grudge and never forgets anything. And the way that things went last year, like the way things were going with, with, the whole lover boy thing when when Carl like left lover boy and the fights from last summer whatever like I don't know if 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 it came from Lindsay like oh we can't give him like that big of a role or whatever but I don't know if they thought this was like funny and cute like flower boy is just so lame it's weird it's weird and, it's lame it's offensive and yeah. um it Carl, gives, it gives like Chippendale vibes. Also, like not gonna lie, like start just like having three like grown men do it together. It's like <laughs> it just kind of makes me think they're gonna like get to the end of the aisle and like strip. Like, yeah, it sounds ridiculous. But I don't it's like. No, I don't like it at all. And I think Carl was super lame. To I understood why he was blaming it on on Lindsay, but him saying Lindsay never said I don't want Kyle to be your groomsman, but saying yeah. she didn't want Kyle like. She either said it or she didn't right. say it. So what are you trying to imply right here? Right. Either own your decision or f say that that Lindsay said she doesn't want Kyle to be a groomsman. Like, the fact yeah. that he had then said she didn't say that, but, like, you're a grown man. I don't know. Everything about Carl, I don't like. Yeah. I don't like either of them. I don't like it. It's in this situation. Like, I'm just... Uh, God, it's a train wreck. It's a train yeah. wreck. I do enjoy watching Lindsay open up with the girls. I think 
you know, we don't really see this side of Lindsay yeah. and her opening up with the girls and the girls giving and the their... And the girls seemed happy about that, too. Like, yeah. Paige was like, this is how it, like, should be. Right. And I thought that was nice. Yeah. And, um, unfortunately, Lindsay wasn't listening to them be like, these are red flags because yeah. she kind of wanted to ignore all of that. But... God, I think they're both wrong. Like, I but watching Car- like because the first couple episodes, I'm like all out on Lindsay, right? The first couple episodes of the yeah, season, yeah, yeah. I'm just like anti Lindsay. Like, I see where Carl's coming from. Yeah, but I also think Carl has this side of him that is just. I agree that that probably fucking revs Lindsay's engine up because he's incredibly frustrating. Yeah, I completely agree. I just think that they are. Not compatible. One of the one of the girls the said the it. Day. They said They're they just, don't like each other. Yeah. I think it was Paige. I think she yeah. was like, they just don't like each other. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. It's clear as day. And so, yeah, that was tough watching them do, go through that. And then also like having Kyle be at this fitting that all these other groomsmen were at. But he's not a groomsman. And then I guess he stayed out too late. And then Amanda was mad. They also, I think they did something with the editing to make it seem like, like I think editing, whatever, producers, whoever, like really wanted to make it seem like Amanda and Kyle were looking for houses in New Jersey because Kyle like said, he said Jersey. So they didn't really like say where they were, but then it kind of felt like they were trying to imply that it was Jersey. And Amanda did comment on the post being mm-hmm. like, you know, sorry if we've we misled anybody. They were in Southampton. It was in the Hamptons. They were looking at a house in the Hamptons. Um, you know, a Bravo account found the Zillow mm-hmm. listing. It was like, this is the house. Like, And, you know, Amanda commented like, I've made it clear I want to like find somewhere just outside of the city. We've said we were looking in the Hamptons too, just like so I can get out out of the city but then you know she saw the price tag crush those dreams so mm. they're they are looking but it did it, it it was just put together a little weird but i don't think that's on them i think that's like the story that they're trying to write with the two of them right now yeah um that kind of got overshadowed for me because I was so stuck on the fact that yeah, Kyle yeah, yeah. was asked to be flower know, boy that like I anything after that, I was I like, I don't even and know w- what's happening. What a gorgeous party um, Paige put together. Gorgeous. Really fabulous. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful setup. I love I love when Andrea comes to visit. I did miss Wes, but I do love when Andrea's in town. What did you think about the discussion um, about Wes and Ciara and Danielle when they, and um, who else was there? Jesse on the rooftop and they were talking about how like, I guess Sierra and Wes, I have not taken things further. And I thought yeah. that was kind of odd because I was like, why are they? I'm sure for the I show mean, I purposes. I think like Jesse like- doesn't have much of a filter and he's like, he'll learn from that right now. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know, he's like, oh, I'm just going to see what happens if I say like, oh, you got, you know, I think he thinks it's funny. Right. You know, you kind of, you're poking at your friends. I think Sierra is like so cautious and like, oh, maybe even like overly cautious because of everything that happened with Austin. And she just seemed so adamant after that whole thing happened mm-hmm. that she did not want to get into any other kind of like situationship, relationship, whatever on the show, like with another person mm-hmm. on the show. So I don't blame her, though, for being I don't cautious. blame her like, either. She looked silly when it came to Austin. Yeah, she knows that. Um, not by her fault. I think, you know, no. Austin fucked up big time with Sierra. And I think she now, she probably really likes West and is like, let me yeah. be cautious and let me see what his, you know, motives are because well, she probably doesn't see, want to get hurt. Or and he look really stupid. does seem so great. So it's like, are you, you're kind of afraid, like, is it all like too good to be true in this right. scenario as well? Cause that's what got her. That's what got her last time. Exactly. Um, but it is interesting. I'm like really, I really want to know like what happens. I know. Or if like, if it maybe just it fizzled or whatever. Because I feel like if they were together now, we would know somehow. But maybe they're keeping it quiet because they want to wait till it comes out on the show. Yeah, I guess but like for a full year almost. I know. Well, we'll. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm dying to know. But Summer House gets um, an A from me. Uh, Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> it's just not hitting i'll be on yeah and i think we feel the same way about it did you see that clip of Jax at his bar yeah 
being like, Vanderpump is scripted. It's so scripted. It's the most scripted shit ever. Like, so why scripted. is he doing that? Like, bro, you were on the show know. and I, now yeah. you're on the Valley, which is basically like yeah. just a spinoff. Of I don't know. Vanderpump. It's like the first, the first, the, the early seasons not scripted, but now like it's all scripted. They're not even friends. <laughs> I don't think it's scripted because they're they they all hate. It's obvious yeah. that none of them like each other. So well, that's the thing. I really think it is. It's scripted in the sense that they don't hang out outside of the show. Right. It's scripted you know? in the sense that they're having a water tasting yeah. that they would never have right. if the show wasn't going right. on. Like it's great. Yes, exactly. Like there's no time that all these people are like, oh, let me call up the girls and like, let's all go. Like it just feels like they don't really see each other as a full group. Because mm-hmm. now everyone keeps alluding to that too. Like it's not even only them, but it's like Katie too. Like off, it's like what friend group? Like they're like, this is not, you know, it's now it just feels contrived feels forced yeah c minus yeah the water taste i mean that guy from the water tasting was absolutely hilarious mm-hmm. i will say like what an absurd fake job like right. that is not a real thing and i saw somebody look up the water and it was like not at like they were saying it was thousand dollar it was like a hundred dollars yeah the which only is one in Amer- the only one water, in the united states yeah um yeah that was that was bizarre and i just think like you know, like we said, we knew it was going to be tough to watch this all months later. And Ariana is still obviously extremely frustrated. But just seeing them like yell at each other is not entertaining either. It's just like not not great. Um, and there's moments of Tom like it almost feels like he is trying to be like tail between his legs. But then they're just like ariana just and it's fine it's fair like she just hates his guts yeah and that's that's she can feel that way very um and it's just like gonna come out like that and it's just gonna come out every time where it's like it's hard to listen to watch somebody who's like don't speak to me don't speak to me don't speak to me but it's like she fucking hates him so right why like there's like we're we're forcing them to be together when in reality she would never speak to him again um but i will say just the one thing that i feel like if i could give tom one thing is it really does feel like ariana lives in her own filth a little bit and i don't like yes they showed that clip of ariana changing the litter box Mm -hmm. after tom says she never changed the litter box and whatever but the the clips of and lala kind of alluded to it too it's like the wings like why do you have food in your like it's the situation they're in because they live in separate parts of the house so she i'm sure she's just always in her bedroom she doesn't want to be outside of her house but when they show clips of that of her in that room yeah and everything that's it's just it's right and shit everywhere and it is kind of (laughs) like and i feel like right now if you say anything that's on the opposite side of Ariana. Yeah. People get upset, but it's like, no, totally understand Ariana. I could not be fucking, rooting harder for no, Ariana. Her, I said one thing, she it, could be a little yeah. cleaner. Want her to get all the brand deals. Yeah. Love that she's thriving. Fucking hate Tom Sandoval. Like, you should hate him. Of yeah. course you fucking hate him. But I under Should he have opened the door to her room and, and let the dog go in there? No. But leaving food in your room right, that grosses just, just, me out. That just sends shivers down my spine no, it anyway. just it just grosses me yeah, out yeah, like you just yeah. throw thing like the smell of, of yeah, no. food sitting like things it was like be, wings right yeah like, like and it had skewers like if, if there's a skewer involved that's just getting thrown out yeah right skewer. yeah yeah, yeah um yeah. so that yeah. i was like okay i don't understand like the dog yeah what's the things with here? the skewers like why didn't you just throw out your skewers yeah that should not be sitting in your room. Yeah. It shouldn't. Yeah. No. I don't care. If you have a if you have a drunk night with food, yeah. blah, 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 you wake up, you throw the food out immediately. 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 You wake up. You don't want to fucking smell like, oh, God. Yeah, no. 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 Oh, my God. No. Throw it out immediately. So, yeah. Vanderpump C minus, I think it gave it. Chicks in the Office is sponsored by BetterHelp. 
It could be easy to ignore our social battery or spread ourselves way too thin, especially with social gatherings picking up, especially spring, summertime, the social gatherings, the weddings after winter, the everything starts picking up. But what's the right amount of socializing for you and how do you recharge? Maybe you thrive around people or maybe you need some more alone time. Therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. I know many people that have benefited from therapy and online therapy with BetterHelp. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, you can give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. You can find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash office today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash office. Once again, if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is entirely online. You don't need to leave your apartment house wherever. You can do it all online. So visit betterhelp.com slash office today to get 10% off your first month. Once again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash office. Um, the Valley. Absurd. <laughs> it's fucking absurd. <laughs> Kristen Doty back Kristen, on reality Kristen TV Kristen Doty is, needs like a so ridiculous. She it's, needs... I, I was... F- jaw on the floor watching this episode chris and dodie i think needs like a 24 7 camera on her um and then they can like splice it up like love island style and we get to just watch it every night because her and i said this last week her and jacks are the messiest reality tv stars of all time and now they're back on tv and it's it's giving us what we need for reality tv filth it is I texted you after I watched the episode because I knew you watched it on on Tuesday and I was watching it on Wednesday and I was just like, the world that Kristen lives in, for her to have gone through what she went through and the end of Vanderpump Mm -hmm. Rules for her and everything that happens and getting fired and race issues being at the forefront of that, Mm -hmm. for her to throw out a racist accusation at somebody to be like you know she's to her to be like oh i'm not the one who said it i heard it from somebody else or it's getting passed down the line like so crazy to me i was like we're on episode three right like they were so early in on filming Mm -hmm. this show and kristen just whips out like i was like girl how how is this something that in your mind you think I would even bring up on camera. Insanity. Truly insanity. And it just sounds like this got totally warped into something. People jump Like, everyone took a word, and they elevated the mm-hmm. word all the way to the end. Um, what, like, Janet said this, and Zach said that, and Janet was talking to Michelle, and Michelle said something about, uh, you know, uh, they were talking politics, something mm-hmm. about a bill. They were talking, and, and it was like, it was just... It was ridiculous too, just from the fact that they were, they were using Republican, <laughs> like it was worse than racist. This is crazy. Like it was like they were like she. They were like whisper. They were like because it changed, and as the episode went on, people started saying, "Well, we're they, somebody said she's a Republican. No, she's a they, somebody said she's a racist." and a republican and they were and they were like whispering it they were like she's racist and republican it was yeah like zach in his interview being like hey that's his name zach right i th- yes i'm pretty sure i think for him to be like that's something that you do not throw around in los angeles mm-hmm. like you will not like your social suicide babe. like because like, you uh, it was it was absurd and kristen's yeah. interview of like getting emotional talking about it i'm like okay fair you went through this you're talking about it on the show you can talk about it but you brought this all back up mm-hmm. yeah like you like she was start, so worried she started crying she was like afraid like something was gonna happen again yeah. she's like i can't believe like she was like and then i was canceled and then she's she's like i hope i i hope i'm not opening the can of worms again it's like you did this you reignited the conversation yeah um I, I also want to talk about it's how absurd. it's an absurd show. It is. And that man that are you bringing up that I was about that to say, man. That man, Jesse, Jesse makes Jax look good. Man, that guy's a piece of shit. Yeah. Like I can't look away from him. Um, when he when they were they're all, the ones that got already yes, got divorced. Yes, right. Good. Yes. Good. When they're arguing at the table over this 
and he, Michelle starts talking. The accusations are about Michelle, his wife. And when Michelle starts talking, and he goes like this, whoosh, and put the his hand, hand up, I could put his hand over her face to like tell her to shut up. I was like, oh no, no, the no, way no, no, that no, he, no, no, yeah, no. the way that he treats her, the way that he treats everybody, the way he talks in general. Yeah. I mean, you could tell from watching them go through marriage counseling. It was like these. She's over him completely. Yeah, completely. When they were talking about sex yeah. and like whatever's going on there with them, um, I was like, oh, they're the couple that got divorced already. Yeah, yeah, totally. 100%. Yep. But I'm now roped into watching them on TV. Like, I think that's what's crazy is that you it's don't, an absurd show. I really did not think episode three of this yeah. show they would be talking about these things. Right. And, I, and these accusations. I will say what's crazy is that. You don't necessarily want to watch good people on reality TV. Oh, you you no. got you want your you want your reality TV people to be filled with trash, and um, that's the vibe I get from right. from the valley. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah. I mean, you need to have people that are somehow going to spill like a an, a potential argument over politics into a a. a blatant just accusation mm -hmm. and throw it into somebody's face and just see what happens yeah it, it really got yeah. out of control yeah that was yeah um and and like you said we're only on episode three right like i'm like so that's what's happening on the valley yeah um, like we're we're watching uh we're watching them taste water on vanderpump <laughs> we're getting we're we're calling people racist on the valley <laughs> episode three episode three. Oh my gosh i i look forward to the valley every week now crazy um they they're really doing it so the valley gets the valley gets a uh a b for me yeah for this week that's valley fair. gets a b that's fair and that's it for me i think i'm somewhere in the same range i'll i'll summer house gets an a minus i'll give vanderpump a c and the valley a b plus um i didn't i not too much for me this week honestly i caught up on one episode of shogun i'm still not completely caught up so i think i watched episode five yeah i watched episode five i'll give that a i'll give that a b plus Shogun's really good. I, I wish I had more time to, to completely catch up. I mean, well, I sound like a broken record at this point. There's so many shows I still haven't mm -hmm. watched that I want to watch. And... I mean, same. Yeah. Clocked my um, Chicago Wednesday. How was Joey on his... Uh... I haven't watched yet. Oh, okay. I haven't watched yet. I was away this whole weekend, so I didn't get yeah. to the Thursday shows. I only watched Summer House. Mm -hmm. um, I have not watched 911. Um Chicago across the board I'll give B's. They were I, they were good episodes. And I think that's I've been popping in and out of suits still just like when I'm home and I just need something on. I'm on season 6. It's not, you know, this whole Mike in 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 jail thing, like I got to get past this. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. not even there. I've never <laughs> made oh, it to that point. Yeah, well, sorry. But it's it's uh, not great. I feel like it's it's. But this is where it's like season six. I think people say that you know, then it starts to kind of go There's down because by the time the show ends, it's yeah yeah yeah. That's okay. a, that's everything I was wa I watched. Okay, I watched uh, Roadhouse on Amazon, which I'm trying to think of like what happened at the end. I'm like, did I finish it? Maybe I didn't. I I don't know. I did think it was funny. My mom randomly texted me today or texted our whole family at 1230 today saying, who's watching Roadhouse? Jake Hall's jacked. Exclamation point. <laughs> sounds like something, I, my, sounds like she sounds is like now. Sounds like my mom would say. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a C minus though from what I can remember. It was, it's like not a terrible watch, but it's just not a good movie. Like, Bless you. C oh Conor McGregor is just like, his character is just laughably like bad mm -hmm. in every way. Right. Um, I haven't but heard it's just the best so corny yeah, and it's yeah. not great. Um, so, I've yeah. seen some of the clips on TikTok of like some of Conor mm -hmm. McGregor's moments that didn't look promising no, no. for his acting career in the future. <laughs> right. 
Uh, I'll give that a C minus. I watched Dream Scenario. That's the Nicolas Cage movie um, where everyone starts dreaming about him. Never heard of it. You haven't heard of it? Um, I'm pretty sure it's on, it's on Max. Good movie. I, I would definitely Is recommend it, it. It came out uh, 2023, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very like being John Malkovich-esque type movie. Um, but I'll give that a B. Like it was a it was a good movie. On, honestly, everything he does, I like. Like Nicolas Cage. Um, I went to the movie theater yesterday. Saw Dune two. How was that? Oh shit! You saw Dune two. I saw Dune two. <laughs> wow, I completely forgot about that. Did God, you see the it in weeks IMAX? are blending yeah. together. Um, no. Neither did I. I there's no. It, movie it was impossible. It's impossible. There was no. I actually looked every night that I could have. I looked for Monday. I looked for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of last week to go see it in IMAX at the Lincoln Center. It's crazy. And it was every seat was full. It was like unless you wanted to sit in the like first the movie's row. been out for like mm-hmm. a month. I know. Still, every seat was full. No, I just saw it in a normal theater. I saw it. Fantastic. In I'm now I I, but it wasn't I completely like, a like feel like I've lived too long in between. Wow, of like I've because it's because I talked about it multiple times already with other people. About Dune Two, what did you think? I thought it was. I great. I liked it. I mean, it was really good. Like it's it's so much better. Like I mean, Dune the first one was good, but it was these movies aren't really like on my alley like as much. I'm not like the biggest sci-fi yeah. guy, but this movie was like a hundred times more uh, captivating to me mm-hmm. than the first one. Um, yeah, I mean, and I also was like, I can see why people because even just seeing it on a big screen, it wasn't IMAX. I'm like, if this was IMAX, I'm sure it's totally. like holy shit. But uh, yeah, I, I liked it. Like, I mean, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah, I would. I, Dune Two was the name. I give it an A minus. Yeah, I, I had it as B plus, but that's just because it's not your. Type. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah, um, I just really like Timothy Chalamet is fantastic. He is. I really think he is because he pulls off like so many different roles, and this is like never would I think I would be describing like a Timothy Chalamet character as like a badass but like he is and it's funny like he pulls it off which some people like can't pull off have you ever seen the movie where he's like taken over and he's like yelling it's like have you ever seen believable the movie that he was he played what it I think it's called King no I don't think so but he's kind of that's similar I don't think I've seen a ton of Timothy Chalamet movies I think I saw Little Women and Call Me By Your Name. You got to yeah. see Hot Summer and Nights. I think I told you to watch that. That's a Timothy Chalamet movie that's right up. Yeah. Is that the one with Selena Gomez? No, it's with... um, Is that with Army Hammer? No, no, no. no. Call Me By Your no, Name no, no, no. is Army Hammer. Hammer. Uh, but it's like where he's like selling weed, basically. Like, oh. it's, it's like summer vacation and, oh. and he starts selling weed. Um, yeah, I went to that. I went down that rabbit hole when I was watching because Florence Pugh is in... Uh, Wow, I forgot I had this. I had this take and everything that I didn't. I didn't shoot it off anywhere. But Florence Pugh is in Dune too, um, and obviously Florence and Timothy Chalamet, both in Little Women, mm-hmm. Greta Gerwig, and I feel like the two of them in a Greta Gerwig like rom com type movie would be a great pairing. I think so too. Yeah, and he's filming Bob. The Bob Dylan movie in New York as we speak. Yeah. Like people yeah, are seeing him. People all the time. just are catching him walking around eating pizza or any yeah, jersey. I, I saw a picture <laughs> yeah. of him from like a movie scene from literally around the corner from my apartment. Yeah. It is funny though, because in this movie he's like an amazing fighter and everything, but he is just like kind of the scrawny guy. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> what I said, but he pulls it off. Zendaya also so good. I yeah. freaking love her. Yeah. So I will say across the board, it's just a really good movie. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and people were saying it, but it's true. Like that, it you don't really think like, oh, this is CGI ever. Like everything looks so yeah, real. It does. Like you're it does. in the desert. Yeah. Um, and then last night I watched Anyone But You, um, the movie. Yep. Um, not a fan. Not a fan. Oh. Yeah, I think. Well. Uh. I'll give it a C, and I think that's like me being kind to the movie. Really, I what just did was you like, like about it. First of all, just the whole storyline 
I, I'm like, so they hate each other because he, she left. Like, it just didn't add up to me. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, like. You weren't uh, buying into what they were I selling. wasn't buying into it at all. And then, like, everything that happened, I'm like, this is the most classic. Like, I could see it. It was just, like, so cliche rom-com. Like, mm-hmm. everything. And uh, I don't think they had chemistry. I don't think Sydney Sweeney's the best actress. They had chemistry? I don't. I don't. Jeez. Um, I don't, th- I I don't think, think she's Powell- fantastic in it, but I do think those two have chemistry. I think Glenn Powell's great. Like, I think he should be in a million rom-coms. But I, this, like, I'll pick set it up a 10 billion times over this in terms of, like, what I'd want to watch, like, um, as, like, a rom-com. I, yeah, I, I said that to Rhea when she was watching on the plane. I was like, I would rather see a Glenn Powell, another Glenn Powell Zoe Deutsch movie than another Glenn Powell City Sweeney movie. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I was like, damn, this, I... It did not do it for me. I, I, I yeah. I mean, teach yeah, their own. I thought, I thought the cute. movie was great. Maybe you didn't watch it in the right setting. No, no. Watching I, it on the plane, you know. Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought the movie I was, was so adorable. ready. I'm like, you know what? After watching Dune two, like, give me like a rom com, mm-hmm. and I just did not hit at all. I'm like, so sorry that you... I thought it was like legit funny too. Like the other side characters, I thought were funny. Really? Yeah. Who were the other like Alexandra Ship? Like all of those? Like oh, uh, she was funny. I thought the the uh, Australian hunky boyfriend what was funny yeah yeah wasn't for me so i'll give <laughs> i'll give it a c damn well you know what that's all right at least we can acknowledge glenn powell is he's great, great. he's great he I, I, he, yeah. I think he's like perfect for these yeah type he, of roles. he can be in any rom-com yeah maybe it's because i saw him in and set it up and you had a you had and a like it's like similar like but i don't know i think yeah all right is that all? That's all I watched. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sad to end on that note, yeah, but no. that's everything we watched. On a downer. Yeah. That's- <laughs> but Dune 2 is great, guys. Dune 2 yeah. is great, and I don't judge anyone if you like it, anyone yeah, but yeah. you, but yeah. it's just not for And Glenn Powell is great. Yeah. Glenn Powell is great. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We'll, we will be back on Wednesday. Sorry, I fumbled yeah. that a little bit. And we're we'll recording. Be, we'll be coming from... HQ from Abercrombie headquarters. So we're excited about that. So make sure you tune in. Maybe watch on YouTube. A little yeah. different if you listen. I'm um, excited. I feel like I'm going on a like a field trip. Yeah, we are going. We are going I know, on a field trip. It is. But um, yeah. We're going on a work trip. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but it just feel like we're going. Like it feels like we're going to. We're going. Going on to a see trip. like a college campus or something. Like the way it's yeah, it's like a. That's true. They have a whole campus, which I never really did. So I'm excited yeah, for that. Exactly. We're going on a trip. In our favorite rocket ship, flying through through the, the sky. eclipse. Oh, yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. All right, love you guys. Talk to you on Wednesday. 